Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing her How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know, na na Never know, na na She'll never know It's like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close But I have to try Try as hard as I can Cause she'll never be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go Welcome back to my channel. I'm just sitting here drinking some chai with whipped cream and a little bit of cinnamon and um, just making a little fall checklist of items that I want to scope out and pick up. Um, this video is going to be kind of a fun one. We're going to do just all of the fall things. So I wanted to show you guys this drink because it's super duper easy and as you know I don't drink coffee so this is a great substitute and you can feel like you're in the fall spirit with all the vibes and all the things and it is a healthier option or choice. Um, on my fall list I got out my bins I'm pointing to them over there but I want to see if I can find a pumpkin pillow for Brooklyn's um, little play area. Um, I either want a throw or an orange type pillow for my sofa in the main living room and um, the pumpkin pillow it'll go upstairs like on Brooklyn's she has a sofa in her play area and she has a chair and then I'm looking for white candles for these pillared candles let me go grab them two of these they were from hearth and hand oh it's so dark you guys can't see them. They were from Hearth and Hand, um, I want to say two years back, and I still never use them. I know it's really bad, but I want to get white candles. I think I'm going to use them on my tablescape this year, and I want to get white candles for them. So I think that'll be really pretty. So white candles, and then I'm going to look at some dried florals. But besides that, I think I'm pretty covered. Later on in the video, I will give you guys an overview of all of the fall things that we have. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it gets you in the fall mood. It is not 
I think today in Texas, it's gonna be 91. So I'm wearing my favorite burnt orange color, but I still have on shorts and a tank top. So I am still very much um, dressed appropriate for the weather, but I wanted to throw a little burnt orange in there to get you guys in the fall spirit. So I am going to finish my chai tea and then make sure I don't need to add anything else to my list and then we will get started. So I am back home. Let me show you what I got. I got things for my list, so I did pretty good, but I looked in, Target was my favorite of the stores I went to. The other ones, I went to Target, um, Michael's, um, Burke's Outlet, which is becoming one of my favorite stores. And then I can't think of Target, Burke's Outlet. I went someplace else, but I didn't get anything. So from Target, I grabbed this pillow. It says, hey boo, it was only 10 bucks. And that's, it's from like the Eeks brand. And I thought this would be good upstairs and on Brooklyn's couch in her play area. Thought that would be good. And then her banner, which I'll show you guys in a second, that we have is like Kitty Pumpkin. So I picked up this pillow as well and I thought that would be like good cozy layering for um, upstairs in her playroom. And this was from that same brand and it was also $10. Um, and that is it that I grabbed from Target. I actually think I'm gonna go back because I was on the fence about a few things and I wanted to go to the other stores to check things out, but I think I'm going to go back to Target either tomorrow or this weekend. So, um, from Michael's, I only picked up one thing. I needed candlesticks and I picked up two of these. They were super inexpensive. Um, I wanna say like a dollar. Um, and I got them in like the cream color. They have the stark white, but I thought the cream would be more warm and that was on my list. And then I wanted a pumpkin for the couch area. So I picked up this one from Burke's Outlet. Like I said, I don't know if they have them any other place, but it's quickly becoming like one of my favorite stores here in Texas. We did not have it as far as I know of in California. But I picked up this little pumpkin pillow. It's just cozy. It's like that Sherpa. And it was only $12. Like their prices are really good. And I think it'll look really cute styled on the sofa. So that is actually all that I got while I was out. Um, I'm still on the hunt for dish towels. That's on my list. And which else? what else is on my list? I'm trying to think. Dish towels. Um... I can't remember, but I know there's still a few items that are still left on my list that I am on the hunt for. I'm going to eat lunch really quick and then I'll come pop back on and show you guys everything that I pulled out the bins that I'm gonna be decorating with. Okay, ate my leftovers for lunch and now I'm down here and I'm gonna show you guys what we have in these bins. I actually went through, and this is the stuff that I'm probably gonna use. I did declutter and I have like one bag of stuff that I know I'm not gonna use and I want it to donate. But this stuff is I'm probably gonna use it. If I don't use it and I haven't used it in a few years, I am going to donate it because I want it to be more minimal in the new house. But looking at all this stuff, you're gonna laugh at me because there's nothing minimal about it. But let's um, jump in. So. Um, I guess this could have been included in the new portion, but I did pick up this pumpkin, um, I want to say about a week and a half ago from Big Lots. It was only $12, and I just loved the vibes and everything. I also picked up this little one from Big Lots as well, and I just thought they were really cute, and I love the neutral tones. This one was only $4, and both of these... Um, came in different shapes and sizes. And then I have a ton of these pumpkins. Let me take this off. I got these. I, these are a part of my older collection. I love, see I'm wearing it, 
this bur burnt orange color. It's absolutely one of my favorites. And I have this pumpkin in different sizes. So we have this size. Um, so a few of those. I also love little apple crates. I also have it in a larger size, just different size, and I have a smaller one as well. I just love the stem, and I just love they're soft and they're plush, and they're super cute. This, be, this I would say, is different than the pillow pumpkin because the stem is hard on this one, and on the pillow pump thing, pumpkin, everything is soft, plush, and lush, but I love these so many different sizes. Um, I've had these from last year, but I was actually just at Home Goods. That's the other store I went to, and I didn't find anything. But I got, I have these little bowls. They were only like $4.99. Yes, because I never take prices off, and the price are still on there. And I think this year I'm going to use these on my tablescape, but don't hold me to it. The little pumpkins, I think I'm going to do something cool with the mantle. Um and display those and then this bigger one I'm not sure maybe on my bench when you come in the house but everything's a work in progress <laughs> and then you guys know I've had these jack-o-lanterns I have two of them I've had them forever I love the color they're ceramic I'm not sure well where I'm gonna use them in our home but I'm gonna use them because I do every year and then these are the candle holders that I got the little candlesticks for from Michaels. These ones are hearth in hand. I've had them for two years, guys, and I haven't used them every single year. So this year I'm determined to use them. If I don't use them, then I'm going to donate them. But I, I'm probably going to use them. I want to use them on my tablescape. They're amber glass. They're super pretty. I don't know why I haven't used them, but... This is the year I'm going to use them. I have two of those. And then just tons of pumpkins. Oh, these napkins, they came in a four-pack. These are Hearth and Hand um, from the Chip and Joanna Gaines line at Target. I think they're like $4.99 or $6.99 for the four-pack. Uh, I have a bunch of these pumpkins. Mine are from last year, but they have a ton of these at Target this year. And they have a ton of them in different wood tones. I want to say they're under $5. So I have a bunch of these. But like I said, I got mine last year. But they have them this year. And then these pumpkins, these little ones, are actually from the Dollar Tree. And I've had these for a few years. And I know they bring them back every year. They're not as good quality as um, the Target ones. But I love all the different textures and everything. And they look really cute. I have a ton of white pumpkins, a ton. They're from Hobby Lobby, I want to say. You know how they have them in those bags? I have a ton of white pumpkins, all different sizes. These are some plush ones. These are from Target a while back. Um, really cute. Target's dollar, and these are Target dollar spot. Target's dollar spot has some really cute um, pumpkin colors this year. Um, on Instagram, I always do a Target Tuesday. And I showed a lot of the pumpkins that they do, um, they have at Target. And they are under $5, so really affordable. I have these ceramic ones, and these I've had for quite some time. They are from the Dollar Tree, but I know the Dollar Tree always brings back something that looks similar to this every single year. So these were just a dollar. Oh, I'll show you guys. These florals, um, these pumpkin picks, these are actually from my old local grocery store in um, California, but I know Home Goods does have these. And then these, this um, arrangement, I put together just a few, what's one, two, three stems, four stems from um, Michael's. And Michael's right now, they have, this is from last year, but I just was there and they have all of these same stems. 
Um, Michael's, usually they are currently running 50% off all of their fall stems, so that's always a good deal. So more of these. And then I pulled out some placemats and stuff. These are from uh, Hobby Lobby. They always have 50% off their items as well. They are in the um, fall section, but um, so you're gonna get such a good deal. I think they're only like $5.99, so they're a good deal as is, and they come in a set of four. And then these are placemats from um, Wayfair. And I, I use a lot of neutral tones, but I like to mix the textures in different colors of brown to just to add like warmth into my home. More white pumpkins. These are the same as these ones. I just love the stem on them. They're so cute, so white. This was flipped over. This is a pumpkin candle that I had from last year and it's from Home Goods. I was just there and they still have these. They have this in this color, like a pink color and then like a greenish, bluish color. But I have this one, I love the color of the stem and it smells really, really good. I don't think I burned it last year. I think it was just on my oven and I never burned it, but it smells so good, guys. And I'm happy that it made it through the move because this is easily breakable. More of those soft pumpkins. These are really small ones. I just love this color so much. It's one of my favorites for this season. Um, these are some stems that I've had from Target. I actually this year did not see a lot of stems there. So maybe I have to go look at another Target. But this is one that I thought was still, like in fall, I still like to have those pops of green, but more muted, not as bright. So I thought that was really pretty. Um, more fall florals. This is a really cute cutting board. Um, I picked this up last year. To be honest, I am not sure where I got it from, but I thought it was really cute. I wanna say Target, but I'm not sure. It's a stage in my kitchen. I've had this one forever from Target. So cute, kind of a different color wood and a little stem there. It has a bracket where you could like hang it up it's one of those pumpkins you use for arts and crafts, but I just use it like this because I just like how it looks and I always put that in my kitchen. Another one of those amber candle holders. Um, different pumpkins I've collected over the years. I have lots of white ones. So this is a felt one from Target. A lot of these felt and plush ones are really good. Of course, if you have really, really, really little ones. My youngest is five, so she doesn't really she plays with the stuff, but she's pretty careful. But another plush one. Um, this is a pillow cover, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna use it this year. Maybe I'll put it in the master bedroom. Not sure, this was from Amazon. So you can go in there and check that out. Lots and lots of white pumpkins. This little crock is from Target. It's really cute. And I love the little lid on there and the cream color. You guys kind of see my <laughs> color scheme that I go with. More white pumpkins from Hobby Lobby and then a lot more, more florals. These ones are from Target. A lot of florals that I'm going to use throughout the house. And then in here, I, of course, I save them every year. I made a whole video on it. I can link it down below, but I did these DIY bats. I want to say the year before last, so two years running. I did them on cardstock, so they've lasted really well, and I just reuse them every year. And to hold them up, I just use, like, clear packing tape, or you can use painter's tape if you don't want it to ruin your wall. 
the um, packing tape doesn't hasn't really ruined my wall. Um, this year I'm thinking of something different because we're not in the same house anymore. We're in Texas. So I'll have to think of something fun and different that I could do with those. And then I think that is it for that bin. I have a lot of stuff, guys. <laughs> and then, guys, we have my little pumpkin. I don't even remember. I want to say I got this actually from Aldi. My little pumpkin um, wax warmer that I use every single year. So, yes, from Aldi. Um, I have my burlap runner. Not sure if I will use it, but I pulled it out. More orange pumpkins. I love the stem on this one. These are all from Target. And then there's these ones with the gold stem. Not sure where I would use them. I probably have like 10 of this variation. And then I do have gray pumpkins. Not sure where I'm going to use these this year, um, but I have a ton of them. And this size, smaller, a smaller size, I probably have like 15 gray pumpkins. But let's get into, for Brooklyn's play area, you guys know I always decorate that. Um, in this house, she has like the loft area, so like a sofa, a chair, the TV, and then her toys are stored away nicely. Um, so for her kitchen, I got these last year from Target. They always have them. They're like five bucks. Um, they always have different kinds, but I picked up, or $3, sorry, this little spider pack. So I'm going to use that in her kitchen. This is her banner that we picked up last year. Um, I love it because it has like the burlap overlay over the felt, and I like the look that it gives. And this was from the Target Dollar Spot. Um, when I was out shopping, I know that Home Goods has a lot of really cute banners, and so does um, Target. Didn't really have a ton out this year, um, and I didn't see a ton at Michaels. But Home Goods, I know they had a ton of really good banners. But this will grow great, especially with like the kitty pillow that I picked up and all of that stuff. I have this sign, not sure where or if I'm going to use it, but I have it. I think I used it, um, I don't know where I used it last year in our old house, but we have that. We have this bag I pull out every year. It looks like a little pumpkin, and then it has a little stick in here. And I think I'm going to hang this in the blanket on the blanket ladder in her play area. And then we've had this pillow for quite some time. It's a little burlap pillow. It's just black on the back. Um, and this is from the Target Dollar Spot, only $5. This year they have some cute ones. They have a black and white one. I don't know. They have like four or five different kinds and prints. But um, we've had this one for a few years now. I have some gauze. Um, black gauze. I'm not sure where I'm going to use that in the play area. Brooklyn has a bunch of these little tiny figurines. These are from the Target dollar spot. I get them, they're usually like $3 and they'll have different ones each year. So she has this one and this one. So really cute. We have this pumpkin. Um, this was from I don't remember, and it doesn't say on the back. It just says OMG Creations. But um, we have this to decorate the playroom as well, and a bunch of pumpkins. Not sure what or of them I'm going to use, but we have some checkered ones. So her playroom, I kind of go with a more black and white and more Halloween, not necessarily fall theme. And then we have all the pieces fell off. This witch's countdown to Halloween, and I always hang this somewhere, and it comes with these little stars that we use on it to count down to Halloween. And then more pumpkins. This one, really cute. I think I grabbed this one from like CVS. I'm pretty sure. And then this little sign that says boo. 
It kind of matches that pillow that I just picked up today from Target. So she has quite a few items that I'm gonna use um, to in this little cauldron that I'm gonna use to decorate her um, playroom and just make it look festive and fun for um, this fall Halloween season. For us, like Brooklyn loves it so much, so it just makes my heart happy doing it. Like she gets super excited and she wants to help me do all the things, so. That'll be fun for both of us to do. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this haul to see all of the things that we're gonna use to decorate this year for Halloween and for um, fall. Uh, we will have, we do have two other huge bins of outdoor Halloween stuff. So that will be a whole separate video. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about any items that I picked up and I didn't um, get to tell you, please put that down below and I will answer your questions. But I hope you guys have an amazing day, amazing fall day, and I'm going to go enjoy our rest of our day. Um, and I will see you guys very soon with a whole new one. Bye guys.